Listening to her grandfather's stories of struggles post-partition gave her the fire and passion. Living, growing together with 25 people in a single house in a big joint family gave her the spirit of sharing and teamwork. Growing up in less gave her the desire to succeed. Seeing her father toil day and night to build a growing business gave her sincerity. Watching her mother take care of all the home chores along with the entire family gave her the values of love and compassion. The seed of entrepreneurship in her heart was sown. This is the beginning of my journey. Hi, I'm Ashama Behil, a couture designer and here is my journey of evolving from a homemaker to an entrepreneur. It all started six months after I delivered my second child. I used to feel depressed. I used to burst out crying for no reason. I continuously thought I was not good enough. I wouldn't accept the changes happening to my body. I would lose my calm on the people I loved the most at the drop of a pin. I had read about postnatal depression, but I never thought it would hit me. Luckily, the awareness about this condition was so well, you know, we could just take help and my husband supported. My spiritual faith in the writings of Nichiren Buddhism supported and I could pull myself out of the loop of self-pity. Usually, it's the toughest times of our life that brings us to the most important phase and give us the most cherished gifts. For me, in my struggle, was my third child, my brand, which became my identity. All the meditations, introspections, self-transformations opened another facet in myself, my creative side. This experience in itself was frightening, but very empowering. As I trace the dots backwards, this is something I always wanted to do. But I had been procrastinating because I was brought up to be a homemaker, to be a mother. But now, this new self was beautiful. It was liberating. It felt as if the jigsaw of my life was complete. Now, it, at this stage, it was impossible to go back to the life I was living that time. This, ladies and gentlemen, is entrepreneurship. It could happen to anyone. It won't wait for the perfect circumstances. It would make you feel invincible at one moment and a failure in the next. I felt I was possessed by the forces. I couldn't sleep. People would call me crazy, and I call myself too. But when it takes you over, either you surrender or you give up. <clears throat> I would attend to my child all night and wait for him to fall asleep. I would request my mother-in-law to take care of him if he would wake up. I started going out to research a lot about the fashion industry and beyond. Battling my doubts of never having a fashion degree, I even worked as a merchandiser in a multi-designer store. After a year of figuring out what am I going to do, I knew I was ready to launch my brand. Fashion gives us a very strong voice to express our personalities. At the same time, Fashion also gives us the comfort to conceal our insecurities behind those well-tailored clothes. Like everybody has got a fantasy line, I had mine too. Fashion magazines used to be my fairy tale books. Reading and exploring about the latest trends on the runway used to be amazing for me. I used to get so many ideas how to dress up when I was a kid. But behind this little chubby girl, there was someone who had been conscious about her own body. And so many of us out there could be and 
would relate to me. Well, after an exhaustive research, I could conclude that fashion industry was far from inclusive about body positivity. A lot of women would feel complexed about their bodies and most of the designs in the market were not catering to these insecurities. I made it my mission to help this, those people and to design for them so that I could help them bring out their best selves through my collections. Our first ever campaign, I remember, had a very beautiful message. If a piece of clothing doesn't fit you, why blame your body? You are not meant to fit into clothes. The clothes are meant to fit into you. It was dedicated to the real women of all the body types and it was very well received. The joy it gave me was second to none and my intuition said I was moving in the right direction. I would love to share today some of the lessons which I have learned along this beautiful journey which has no destination, which has given me infinite joy. Number one. Entrepreneurship has no logic. I had never been to a fashion school, but yet I was here thinking about launching my own luxury fashion brand by just reading few magazines as a kid. What was wrong with me? My family told me there's a boutique in every street of India. Only for everyone to realize I was different. I was not afraid. Entrepreneurship is for everyone. Everyone has a little bit of entrepreneur in us. Our parents are like our first customers. We're always selling our stories and keep demanding for more, isn't it? We're continuously negotiating with our family for something or the other. But somewhere down the line, when the pressure comes to earn your own bread and butter, that's when the stories start getting a little messy. Pressure from all the sides starts crushing us. And we are constantly asked or even told, what are you going to do with your life? Look at Mr. Bhalla's son. He's got a package of 12 lakhs. Pura din phone pe lagi rehti hai. Main nahi uthane wali tere fashion ke kharche. Khud kamao, khud kharcho. And the most popular one in India, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, this fear psychosis keeps building up through our teens, through our college years, and through our life, and we slowly start making safe choices instead of pursuing our passions which we are born for. I faced the same fears to a lot of times. But what helped me, the best way to keep your head clear, meditate. It helped me, a good positive self-talk, which really helped me like a morning ritual, which I still follow, by the way. Anyways, entrepreneurship is a journey within. It's about finding your special gifts. It's the love within you. Throughout our growing up years, there are certain activities which gives us joy, which gives us timelessness. We enjoy doing them a lot. Start by visiting those gifts you believed was special in you, as if you were the same child back then. Keep pursuing them even at the very basic level, and soon you'll realize you have something special in you. You are unique, and discover that unique in you. Now, let me ask a very interesting question to all the people out here. What do you think is the biggest concern for a woman before she has to attend a special occasion? like all of us came here. Most of the women are right. What am I going to wear? Isn't that the most important question in everybody's mind before going? We have a wardrobe full of clothes, but we always face this dilemma. What am I going to wear to the wedding, to my dinner with my in-laws, to my college function, to my office party? The struggle is real, isn't it? Well. I was the go-to girl for this question for my friends and family ever since I can remember. As a kid, I remember I used to love going to my aunt's boutique, sit with her, design my clothes, and I used to feel amazed how those sketches were coming to reality. I was in fact a personal shopper to 
everybody in my family, whenever there was a wedding or they had to probably buy something important. Entrepreneurship is adventure. It's exploring the unknown. A review by Princeton University said, based on the number of international star designers in the last 10 years, and the number of people who have entered the profession, the estimated odds of becoming an internationally famous designer are roughly 160,000 is to one. I always told myself, one day I'm going to design for the people across the world. And I'm happy to share today, like you saw in the video, we have officially launched in United States. And we have also successfully done, thank you. We have successfully done five trunk shows and we are ready for our next tour in the spring of 2023. My intuition was always my guiding light. Every time I would start sketching my new collection, I had no idea where I was going. But I knew I'll make my intuition work. I'll find a way how to campaign it. With each stroke of my hand, the story kept, kept unraveling and my thoughts keep building up. The next is entrepreneurship is to pivot. I do remember when there was a rapid shift in the industry because of COVID, all the designers were trying to sustain the jolt. We also felt that there was a time to do something about it. We knew the most important challenge ahead of us was to pivot, to reinvent, to evolve. <clears throat> I do remember when the weddings got canceled, the store walk-ins had dropped. You know, we were told it's time to launch your e-com platform. We immediately dived into learning social media platforms, e-commerce, there were so many verticals. We had to learn and we had to pivot. There was no option. Influencer collaboration, e-commerce strategy, uh, content selling, and above all, finding the right voice for your brand. It was a 360 degree push for an emerging brand like us. We kept learning, we did not stop. <clears throat> And also, I remember there was a very impactful campaign that we had launched during COVID to reassess, to restore, to recreate, and to revamp. When there were no clients, we had clients coming, getting their age-old heirlooms and vintage saris. We were helping them restyle and repurpose into signature pieces. They were very happy. And lastly, entrepreneurship is seeking support. I remember when I was set out on my journey, there were people who were supporting me unconditionally, my husband, my children, my in-laws. Please seek their support because they always help you push your brand forward. And even my clients who believed in me in India and across the world, I have formed cherished bonds of trust and friendship with them. I'm eternally grateful to them. Universe always pays back in kind. But the bottom line is to have a kind heart and keep your heart ready to receive. For all those who are attending this talk today, you are standing at the cusp of your exciting new journey. I urge you to be adventurous. I urge you to be ready to take risks. Try something new. Challenge your inner greatness. You won't be 21 again. Your life is going to inspire the generations to come. And you make sure you make it worthwhile. All the best. Thank you.